Now let's talk about editing and updating cues that you already have. If you want to go edit or update cues or presets, it's very simple within Onyx. First, let's actually work with the group, since that's the first step of making a cue. I'll select these lights here, my Van Goghs. I can see them here on my 2D plan. And maybe for some reason, I need to add a couple lights to it. For groups, I'm just going to go ahead and record press the group or type the group number with enter. If I press it, I don't have to press enter. And then I get this window, my conflict window, which says, OK, there's a conflict here. What are we going to do? Here, I'm just going to merge the groups. It's going to add any new contents to that group. I also had an option there to replace, which would replace the current group with the new. And we're good to go. Let's talk about presets. Presets work in a similar way. If you're building presets and you need to merge something in, such as a new fixture, I'll go over here, choose my Razer 760s, take them to full, record to merge it into that queue. And remember, I can, I can tap that preset, rather, and I can use my conflict section of my record pop-up to make it merge automatically. If I don't have it merge automatically, when I do go to, to merge it in there, it's going to ask me if I want to merge the preset, replace with the current data, edit the command so it keeps the command line, but it takes a step back, or just plain cancel. We'll go ahead and merge that. Awesome. Now, let's talk about updating queues. There are a few different ways to update queues, and all of them are valid and maybe useful in certain circumstances. So we'll go ahead and, for example, I'm playing my fan here on these darts. Now, say I go ahead and I grab my fixtures. I'll clear first to get rid of my other stuff in the programmer. I place them in a new position. And then I go ahead and I press Update. Now I get the Update dialog. This is the console's update function. It's looking for the, any queue that's currently running that has the parameters that I've selected for the lights I've, I've got selected in the queue. The parameters that you're trying to add to a new queue that you're trying to update have to exist in that queue, or at least some of the parameters you've selected. You can add additional. In the update pop-up, we see two columns at the top. On the left is our presets column. I would toggle this on in red if I were trying to update my preset. Now that's my fan preset. I've brought up another preset, the random preset, and that's not what I want to do. So we'll toggle that off. It shows up here because that preset is in use in the queue here that we're, try we're going to update. Here in the queue side, there may be one or multiple queues that contain values for fixtures that you have selected. Be sure and be careful with the update window to only select the queues that you know you want to update. These are queues that are running. So you may have multiple queues running that work with various parameters that you've brought into the programmer before updating. And you want to make sure you only update the queues that you intend to update. Okay. Then we've got the same options below that we always do with recording. Um, and so we're able to filter out different parameters, do things like that. Uh, the key here, though, is when we do hit enter with the default settings, a couple things happen. Our programmer is cleared. The queue is refired with the new information in it, and we're good to go. So we don't have to sneakily play the queue, clear the programmer, none of that stuff. It's just good to go when we use the update function. We can also, if we want to, take the lights and place them into a position. We'll just put them back where they were. and. If we have the cue list selected, and so in this case, I'll double tap here, switch my fader here, hold select, and then press my cue. I could have done it also if it, if it was still over here. Select and hit that cue. Boom. It's got the white box around it. 
I see the name at the top, then I can go record Q1, enter. It's going to merge that Q. Of course, it's telling me the Q exists, and we get some really great options here. The simple merge would just be to choose the top option to merge current data. Um, but we can replace the queue. We can insert a queue before, after. We can remove, which is a great filter that's available when merging into, queue, into queues like this or presets, allowing us to actually remove things that are in that queue. Or we can edit the command. We merge it. We're cleared out. And now we're good to go. So when we are merging like that, where we're recording over the existing queue, we do have to clear our programmer once we're done. However, the new contents are in the queue, they're playing, um, and we're not going to see any abrupt transition when we clear that programmer out. Awesome. Those are the basics of updating queues. Just like many of the other com contents that we've talked about, visit the Alation Education Center online to find more information about these different console functions and even more in-depth ways that you can work with your lights, bring them into queues, load, and even more. We've just scratched the surface here of what Onyx is capable of, um, and it'll get you to a great start, but ultimately, if you're going to be doing a lot of programming, you'll definitely want to study a little further. We'll see you guys there. Thanks.